at my words, with small bubbles of tears forming the corner of his eyes. Oh, Eric! <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome to Seduce Me episodes happily ever after this is actually the wedding episodes the one that everyone has been waiting for and Michaela has finally released it um she sent me a special version uh, because like the, the file literally says my name on it so I don't know what the hell she did a little bit, a little bit concerned <laughs> I might have a heart attack uh, during this episode but we will see Anyway, before we get started, if you guys would like to grab the game yourself, the link is in the description. Please check it out below. I'll also have links to Seduce Me 1 and 2 if you want to grab that too. Also, if you want to check out my Let's Play for both Seduce Me 1, 2, and the other episodes, I have done all of them. Links in the description. And please check out Michaela Laws, who is the creator of this game and a very good friend of mine. And I love her. Oh god, I'm- oh! <laughs> uh, I'll have links to her stuff as well if you want to check that out. Okay. I need to calm down. I'm a little bit too excited. I haven't even fucking started yet. Alright, let's start. The venue was set. The preparations were complete. The day had finally arrived. Was this really happening? I felt an elevation run through my entire body at the thought. I had wanted to stay for years, and yet my mind still couldn't believe it. I had to keep telling myself, Yes, this is happening. You're not dreaming. I was going to marry- Okay! I'm gonna do all of them, of course, but I gotta do Bay first, which is Eric. He's my number one, so we'll do Eric first, and then I'll continue with everybody else. As the thoughts of Eric flooded my mind, I could not not I could not help but smile. Eric made me feel like a royal in my own right. He was happy to dedicate his life to me, and I was determined to dedicate mine to him. My charming incubus would be my husband at the end of the day. Oh dear god. <laughs> I stood in my waiting room, staring at my reflection in the mirror. I couldn't take my eyes off of myself. Was I imagining myself standing here? Did I die in the demon world and was now seeing a dream instead? No. There I stood, elegantly wrapped in a beautiful wedding gown. It was the dress of my dreams with the veil flowing elegantly behind me. I was regal and felt joy in every fiber of my being just looking in the mirror. Diana's flower, still healthy and magnificent as it ever been the night I received it- Oh, we have the flower still! Okay! Adorned in my head and sat graceful in the crook of my ear. I felt my body quiver in anticipation. My soul couldn't make up its own mind and how to feel. I was ecstatic, joyful, scared. Every emotion I knew of hit me all at once and I wasn't sure how to handle myself. I was going to walk down the aisle and see the man of my dreams at the end. All at once, every thought of today began to collide in my head. Everyone was so supportive of me and my marriage that it shook me to the core. Naomi had made me a custom wedding cake, determined to give me the best celebration with her cooking skills. Zuzu had organized the reception and her family, as powerful as they were, ensured the security and safety of all the guests. For some reason, I just see Zuzu like head of security with glasses and she's gonna like, kick everybody's ass <laughs> if something bad happens. My mom helped deliver the invitations and guided my pre-wedding party, unable to stop herself from crying at the thought of her, of her child being married. My dad even designed and de dedicated a line of toys from Anderson Toys in celebration. It was a doll line focused around the theme of marriage and happiness, with me and my husband as the focus figures. I know he wasn't a man of many kind words, but I knew he poured his heart into it and proof of his joy for me. That's nice. I'm still mad that he did hit like MC, but... That's nice. I even recalled dreams of my grandfather smiling at me, silently giving me his blessing and letting me know how proud he was to see me here. How I wish for him to stand with my family still, despite knowing he watched over me from heaven. I felt myself shake and begin to cry. Everyone was so proud of me to protect my legs giving out. And they did. Thank God I was alone. I collapsed onto the floor, holding my hands over my mouth, as delicate and overwhelmed burbles escaped past my lips. This was happening. I had waited for so long. I couldn't control the rush of emotions pounding through me like a storm. My body was overthrown by my mental chaos and I had begun to break down. Was I capable of doing this? Was I strong enough? Yes. Yes I was. Yes you are! <laughs> Thinking back on it, I was strong enough to push through every obstacle in my path. I fought off a devil, stood my ground against a succubus, I even had gone through the demon world and escaped its war to see this day come. My life had moved me forward to this moment, and I was a mess inside. Please don't wake me up if this is a dream. It's not a dream, sweetie. Whoa, Diana, what is this, like, psychic mental connection? She's calling me from the other side. <laughs> that voice. 
I looked up in the mirror and gasped, tears escaping me again as my eyes locked onto the familiar face in the reflection. Diana? What are you doing on the floor? Pick yourself up. I know you can stand. I frantically stood, obeying her request as I started as I stared dumbfounded at her image. But aren't you? Diana chuckled, silencing me. She looked powerful and regal in the mirror, bathed in an almost godlike light. I'm the queen of the demon world, my dear. I have my ways for communicating with you. She's calling me through the mirror! <laughs> Diana! My heart began to squeeze tightly in my chest. How I wish for her to be physically here to see my wedding. Oh yeah, I kind of wish she was here too. I'll be watching, I promise. I've secretly waited for this day to- <laughs> Oh, Diana, you're so sweet! I watched as Diana lifted her hand and caressed the air in front of her with the back of her hand. To my surprise, I felt a slight breeze brush through my cheek in a tandem wiping of my tears. Diana smiled and lowered her hand, stepping forward towards me. May you be happy, and may fortune stand with you forever. At last, Diana leaned forward and kissed the air softly. I felt a soft, airy pressure on my forehead, causing more tears to run down my cheeks and my heart to squeeze in joy at the action. Slowly, she faded away from the mirror, leaving me to face my reflection. My face was red, and I could hear my heart beating loudly from the emotion rushing through me. I was getting married, and the world was waiting for me. I took a deep breath and let out a sigh, slowly but surely calming the nerves dancing along my spirit. As a, no as a small knock echoed from the door, I could feel my nerves attempt to kick up once again, but I closed my eyes and calmed them down with another breath. I was ready. I was going to obtain my happy end. Oh gosh. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Look at this! Look at the artwork! Ooh! The hall was full of people, many I knew and many I didn't. I stood in the doorway leading into the space and stared at the door in front of me, imagining every everyone waiting for me. My parents, my friends, the incubi, my husband-to-be. The second the doors opened would be the second my walk towards my future began. I was no longer going to be alone. I would have him standing by me as I would stand by him through anything the universe threw at us. The doors opened at last and I took in the beautiful sight of the wedding hall at last. Everyone stood and watched as I slowly made my way down the aisle. Music began to fill the air at, mar at my march, and gazes followed with each step I made. My heart began to pound in my chest. I began to imagine everyone hearing it as loud and powerful as it was. Still, I continued on. I would not stop walking until I reached the end. My gaze, however, locked itself on my husband-to-be. He stared in awe at my approach, lost in his own thoughts. What was on his mind? Hey, finger gun, Eric! <laughs> I could see Eric's gas. I could see Eric gas slightly. His visible eye, his visible eye, his visible eye brightened, and his face turned slightly pink. As I smiled at him, Eric slowly smiled back, letting joy paint his expression despite the blush over his cheeks. Stepping to the end of the aisle, Eric gently extended his hand out to me, and I took it in kind. A few more steps, and I finally stood beside him. We were lucky. Kay, the owner of the Pink Lady Cafe and dear friend, w was licensed to officiate the wedding. Of course she is! <laughs> so she took it on herself to do so without a fee of any kind. According to her, this was something she wanted to do for us as a wedding gift. I was very thankful to have her to be a part of my next chapter. Kay gestured for everyone behind us to sit down in their pews, clearing her throat slightly and bringing up the microphone to her lips, beginning the ceremony. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join these two beautiful souls in matrimony. They have supported and loved each other and have chosen to continue doing so for the rest of their lives. Standing beside Eric made my heart flutter in joy. I could feel our hearts synchronizing in time and our best slowly matched up in equal excitement. Staring into his eyes, I became lost in my thought as I listened. It is said that love is a story all on its own. Affection gives us the rising action. Our dreams give us our purpose, and we experience a world we've never imagined exploring. The best thing is, we don't have to explore it alone. This moment right now is a chapter of that story, and you have many things left to write together. Damn right we do! <laughs> I smiled. She was right. This wasn't an ending by any means. This was the beginning of our life together. A life Eric and I would share and write for as long as we lived. As he smiled back at me, I knew he agreed. And now my favorite part. Yay! We would now like to take this time to exchange the wedding vows. Kay gestured to me, ushering me so to softly clear my throat and begin. 
I had so many things to say to this man, I hadn't known where to begin when I first tried to write up my vow. However, after months of hoping and thinking, I finally knew what to say. This must be so- Okay, sorry. Sorry to, like, ruin this all of a sudden, but this must be so, like, nerve-wracking. I don't even know what the fuck to say if I was getting married. It'd be like, ah. Uh. <laughs> Eric, you and I have been through so much. You have supported me ever since we met, and our love has broken through every obstacle in our path. Can I dream a life without you in it? You make me happy. Happier than I could ever dream of being. It was like you were sent to me as a miracle. Eric could only smile and listen. But I could almost hear his heart beating wildly for me at my words, with small bubbles of tears forming the corner of his eyes. Oh, Eric! <laughs> I continued. I want to keep going through life with you as your one and only. You are my best friend, my love, my world. With you, we can reach the skies and sail forever. Just you and me. I love you. Kay bit her lip, obviously holding back tears, <laughs> before nodding to my conclusion and turning to Eric. And now, your vow. Go ahead. Eric smiled and held my hands close, letting his gaze melt into my eyes as he spoke at last. Jessica, ah! there is no one in this universe who brightens the day. Like no! You have happily stood by me and been my light for a long time, and I can only hope I can bring you just as much joy in your life as you do mine as your husband. God damn it, Michaela, you did it again! Oh my god, I love you, thank you. Also, shout out to Christopher Escalante, I love you too. <laughs> oh god, I'm okay. Oh Jesus Christ. Um, I slowly began to cry. Eric's words melted into my heart. <laughs> and I could see the love glow glowing in his eyes. His smile. I was truly in love, and I'm like fucking freaking out. <laughs> I promise to love you and to cherish you. For as long as we live, and to spend the rest of my life giving you the happiness you deserve as your husband. Ah, you're sweet! I love you! <laughs> Just from staring into Eric's eyes, I could tell that our heartbeats and breaths were perfectly matched in time. There was nothing in the universe that could stop us from being happy, and this moment was picture perfect. I freely let myself cry as I smiled. He did the same for me, holding my hands lovingly. <laughs> You both just made my job easier with these vows. <laughs> Ooh, so, let's put on those rings. Oh my god, we have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> Kay quickly turned back to the table behind her and presented us with my ring first. With glowing pride and slight nervous quivering in my hands, Eric gingerly took the ring and began to slide it up my ring finger. Please repeat after me. <clears throat> with this ring, I give all of myself to you. I will protect you and be with you no matter what, until time stands still. As quickly as our statements came, images of our adventures and struggles passed through my mind. We had fought a devil, foiled a succubus, stopped the w world war together, and our story was far from over. With this ring, I give all of myself <laughs> to you. I will protect you and be with you no matter what, until time stands still. As the ring finally crested on my finger, I couldn't help but wiggle it, uh, uh, wiggle it in glee atop Eric's hand, making him chuckle a bit at the feel. The band shimmered on my hand into the light church, almost entranced me. Excellent! Now, it's your turn! Kay slowly held out the second ring for me to take. This was my moment. I quickly took the ring in excitement and began to ease it up Eric's finger. With this ring, I give all myself to you, I will protect you, and be with you no matter what, until time stands still. In that moment, when the ring reached its destination, I could feel the world stop around us. Something in the air felt warm and bright. It was like everything had become right in the universe, and I was able to see a future full of opportunity and bliss. I became so lost that I barely acknowledged that the ceremony was finally coming to a close, one that I had been waiting for. All right, awesome, all righty then! By the power vested in me in front of your beloved friends and family, it is my honor and privilege to pronounce you two united in perfect matrimony. Let the moon shake tonight! Yeah! <laughs> at last. Ah! <laughs> Look at Eric, he's so cute! And you can see his other eye, oh my god! <laughs> Eric smiled happily at me, a genuine smile of his true self. Seeing it made my heart flutter. He had happily given his entire life to me, and I would hold him close forever. Now hurry up and kiss already! 
You know you wanna. We want you to as well. Uh, she didn't have to tell me twice. With a thankful grin and a euphoric heart, I took Eric into my arms and kissed him with every ounce of love I could muster. Fireworks went off in my head and I could feel the world around me close, leaving only Eric and me in a peaceful space all on our own. Our kiss marked the beginning of our new life together and I was happy that the next chapter would begin on my terms. I had a feeling no more problems would come on our way, even if they somehow did, we would have the power to get over them. If our meaning didn't prove that, then our struggles and victories would. The cameras and cheers would mark our memories in time. The bands we wore would leave their per permanence on our skin. And we would fly as high as our love could take us. Truly, this was my... No, it wasn't just mine. This was our happily ever after. The end. Oh, it's not over. I thought it was over. What was going on? <laughs> Today was absolutely perfect. The cake was amazing. The food was sublime. What could be any better than this? I believe I can think of something special. G Eric gently walked up behind me and wrapped his arms around me, making me giggle and look up in at the night sky. <laughs> oh, and what would that be? My Queen Jessica. <laughs> There's so much to experience <laughs> in the of San Marco. It will be a perfect honeymoon beginning for our new life. <laughs> Mikhail, what are you trying to do? Kill me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Oh, I thought it was only once that this was gonna happen, but oh my god, okay. Okay, I'm okay. It's alright. We're cool. <laughs> I giggled and turned to him, wrapping my arms around his shoulders and giving him a kiss, earning a happy home from my husband. You're right. I can't wait to see everything with you. And I am honored to be by your side. I love you so much and always will. I love you too, Zairus. Yeah, we use his real name too, I like that. I like that. Jesus! You're gonna kill me! Like, what is this? <laughs> okay. I'm okay. That was fucking adorable. I loved it. And then we saw Eric's other eye and he's- Jesus, I can't believe you made Chris say my name again! Oh, okay. I'm alright. Alright, let's do the next one because I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> okay, the next one I'm gonna be doing is Sam because he's my second favorite, so let's go to Sam. As level as the phrase was, Sam's brothers often joked that I had chained the monster. Oh my god, to <laughs> imagine that anyone thought of Sam as a brute or as someone to be controlled was beyond me. Sam had become my everything and I was going to let the flames inside me burn bright for him forever. I'm just gonna skip over the stuff we've seen and go towards the weddings, okay? Oh wait, this is right, this is right! This is the version where Diana died, man! Oh no! I may no longer be of the living, darling, but I will always find a way to be there. If you ever need me. Dan, I love you, Sarah, too! They died! I'm here now, sweetie. Hold no regrets. I regret- I still hate Shadow. It's his fucking fault that they went out the window of the tower. I'm still mad about that. Hey, there's Sam! I can see a world of amazement run through Sam's eyes. As he stared back at me, I knew the sight of me had stunned him, rendering him speechless. For a moment, I barely caught a glimpse of tears forming in the corner of his eyes. Stepping up beside Sam, however, he held his hand out and guided me to the front, ready to begin the ceremony at last. Sam smiled and held my hand close, letting his gaze melt into my eyes as he spoke at last. When I look in your eyes, I get trapped in you. Aww. You always tell me that you'll never leave me. Do you know what you do to me? Being here, standing here in front of you? It's like a fantasy. I want to never leave. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You're so cute! I slowly began to cry. Sam's words melted into my heart, and I could see the love glowing from his eyes, his smile. I was truly in love. I promise to love you and cherish you for as long as we live, and to spend the rest of my life giving you the happiness you deserve as your husband. With this ring, I give all of myself to you. I will protect you and be with you no matter what, until time stands still. Hey, look at Sam! Ah! so cute! This is adorable. Sam and I gave each other toothy grins, showing the rings we had placed on each other's hand to the rest of the church in full view. <laughs> he, happily gave, he had happily given his entire life to me, and I would hold him close forever. Damien! Damien had happily become a part of my life, as I had become a part of his. We supported each other and helped each other through everything in our lives. Even more so, he finally got to be human alongside with me. 
We both were living a fantasy made into reality. Damien was openly holding back tears. Oh, he's crying! Oh my god, sweet cinnamon roll is crying! <laughs> Despite the joyous smile on his face, I knew that he was holding his breath. I would have too, but I was more happy to go to be going through this through this stream and to breathe in the air of excitement around me. To think we'd be standing here. This is by far the best dream anyone could have, and thinking about all that we've been through. This is the most special chapter of our lives. Aww. <laughs> I cannot wait to continue my story with you for the rest of my life. You're so cute! I promise to love you and cherish you for as long as we live, and to spend the rest of my life giving you the happiness you deserve as your husband. <laughs> You're so cute too. Oh, Damien's crying! Oh my god! This is too- all of this is too cute! Like, Sam is such a dork, Eric is just like, oh, I love him, and then Damien is like crying! Oh my god! <laughs> Damien began to cry, wiping his tears with a happy smile at me. I couldn't even stop the tears flowing down my cheeks. Next boy is James! James was the man I had always dreamt of marrying. He was, in essence, my prince coming to reality. He was regal, yet he never failed to make me feel like I was the only person in the world that mattered. My life had become a fairy tale, and I was in the midst of my happily ever after. Hey, look at him! <laughs> James visibly took a breath at the sight of me, a very soft blush painting his cheeks. Still, he smiled and maintained his regal posture, ready to stand beside me like a prince he was to me. You are the moon, stars, and sun of my life. <laughs> there is not a day that goes by where I do not think of you and how much you mean to me. You give my life so much meaning. And I am humbled to know that my love for you is reciprocated. I promise to love you and cherish you for as long as we live. And to spend the rest of my life giving you the happiness you deserve as your husband. Aw, oh, look at James! <laughs> I love it. James smiled and clasped a gentle fist over his mouth, letting his ring shine in the light between us as he softly smiled in joy. Okay, and then we're gonna look at the final boy, which is cutie pie Matthew. I was ecstatic to marry my best friend. Matthew was funny and caring, making me feel happy every moment of my life. I was thankful to have him uh, as to be his for as long as I already had. To tie the knot with him today was an adventure we would both share. Aw, look at him, he's so cute! <laughs> Matthew grinned from ear to ear at my approach. I could see him holding himself back from bouncing up and down in a spot as he waited for me. But the ceremony had just begun. <laughs> Where do I even begin? You're the brightest light to ever shine in my life. Aww. You've guided me through the darkest times, and now we're standing here, ready to swear our lives to each other. This is the greatest day of my life, and I hope you feel the same. <laughs> He's so precious! <laughs> I promise to love you and cherish you for as long as we live, and to spend the rest of my life giving you the happiness you deserve as your husband. What a sweetie! <laughs> Aww, look at him! <laughs> He's so happy! Matthew smiled and held his hands out to me, ready to embrace me and hold me close like he would for the rest of our lives. Oh my god, okay, that's the ending of the wedding episodes. Jesus Christ. That was fucking adorable. But god damn it, Michaela, you almost killed me there. Oh, <laughs> uh, I need I need to breathe. Um, thank you so much, Michaela, for giving me that. And then the extra little snippet of Eric afterwards uh, with the wedding and stuff. And also shout out to Christopher Escalante who voices um Eric. Whoo, okay, I'm alright. I'm all right. That was good though. I loved it because um, not only were like all of them different because they experienced like different stories through Seduce Me Too and whatever, um, but I, I like the mention of what have they been through like in their vows and then also having Diana like be there and say like, hey, it's okay. I'm still with you. Even in Sam's version when she died, um, it's nice to know that Diana is still there and she's so excited for us. Also with Kay, she, she's so excited for us as well. But I like, I like that. That was really adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm alright. Um, anyway, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And like I said earlier, if you guys want to grab the game, see my Let's Plays, or check out Michaela's work, all the links are in the description below. 
And um, if you guys would like to support this channel on Patreon, the link is in the description. Or you can support the channel for free with gawkbox.com slash a girl and a game. All you have to do is make an account, you download the games on my page, play them, and then you donate real money to the channel, which will help me continue making videos and keep the channel alive overall. So yeah, I'm okay. I'm just gonna go lie down now. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Love and romance can be a key point in romances within video games. Some benefit the story, help a character develop, and sometimes it's just straight up a door creepy. And sometimes that brings people together in a not so cute way. Here are six terribly awkward romances in video games. Number six, Cole and Elsa.